Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 10th through the 16th of July, 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good 4th of July last weekend. Um, I am going to take a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that is your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate just a little bit better. Also keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can and often do switch or flip-flop, and that's not unusual. Um, if you are interested in a private reading, that can be found in the box beneath this video. All the information you would need, I'll be happy to help you. All right, just to let you know, as I was doing the shuffle for your uh, cards before, you know, I went on, um, I did get a message that something about a change in perspective, which is causing you to hold back emotionally. So let's see if that comes out in the reading as well. All right. Spirit, can I have the energy of Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, Page of Cups in the reverse. The Hermit. Yep, that looks like some holding back. And the World. Okay. So it looks like you are um, kind of holding back here with the Page of Cups in the reverse. The hermit, you've kind of pulled back and you're looking at things. You've, you've gone within, you're looking for answers. You're trying to, to discover, you know, the whys and wherefores. Um, you're looking for answers. And in the process, you may be isolating yourself to do this. It's going to lead to you ending a cycle here so that you can begin a new cycle. I do feel like um, when that cycle ends, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air for you. It's going to be a relief. You're going to feel relieved by it. Um, let's see who's in your energy here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so a lot of you fire signs are dealing with people that are really chatty. I, um, there was another fire sign that had somebody that had a lot of cards come out. All right, we have the moon in reverse, sign of cancer, queen of swords in reverse. That would be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's coming out with the death card in reverse, both in reverse. Um, Scorpio, we have the empress. Taurus and Libra, and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, hmm. So, I feel like, um, I have to say right off the bat, for some of you, somebody had a fling. Somebody had a fling. And wound up pregnant. The Empress, um, the Empress is pregnant. Okay, Ace of Wands. So that that can be a sexual encounter. So somebody, somebody is pregnant. Somebody had a uh, either a fling or just uh, through a very steamy sexual encounter, they became pregnant. Um, right off the bat. All right, I have to have to let you know that. Now I do see that. This person that's in your energy, they have had some kind of a um, epiphany, I guess would be the right word. Um, I do feel like there's something here that they have that's kind of come to light for them. They It could be a pregnancy for some. Um, now, not everybody's pregnant, of course, but for somebody, this is what <laughs> this is what's come to light. Um, and for that it could even be one person out there for that particular person. Um, I feel like they're not very happy about that situation because it it binds them in some way to to a connection, whether it's with you or whether it's with someone else. Um, that there's a sense of not being able to end in that connection in some way. So I don't know who that's for. It could even be one person, like I said. Now. 
For the majority though, what I'm seeing is that somebody has had some kind of an epiphany here, um, information of some sort that has given them some clarity, something that was hidden. Um, doesn't feel like it was hidden like a, a deep dark sacred. It feels more like it was something internal. I don't think that this person is um, is done in this situation. I feel like they are at, they were right at the point where they wanted to kind of terminate things and just couldn't do it. They're still holding on to you, Sagittarius. Um, but they're not happy with the way things are are going. They're not they're not pleased with how things are going. I feel like this person tried to cut you out of the picture or tried to cut this uh, connection and they just weren't able to do it. Um, I do see that there is a very, very strong um, connection that, you know, physically this person is very drawn to you. And I'm also seeing that they want a new beginning because they feel like they could have everything with you. So whoever's in your energy, they... They definitely want a new beginning. They're very passionate about you. Let's see the energy of this connection. Oh, Spirit is saying that for somebody, some people out there, this is somebody who's cutting someone else out. And it's just not over yet. Yeah, they're cutting someone else out of the picture. This is not over yet. Um, but they want to start something with you. You may have just met them. All right, um, energy of the connection. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. That's the energy of letting go. It's letting go of something that was held on to for quite some time. Um, finally releasing so that could be the connection itself, or it could be releasing and letting go of, you know, things within the connection. Let's see what's affecting this connection. Could be letting go of someone else, like I said, um, for that particular group, the Three of Cups. Okay, so what's affecting the connection is <laughs> a reunion for some. For others, um, I see going out. I see going out with friends, connecting with friends, feeling good about that. That's what's affecting the connection. So this, this is either somebody that you've known from the past that tried to cut you out of this connection that you're not communicating with right now and they're gonna they're gonna want to have a new beginning, and so this cycle between the two of you of not speaking, not communicating, being apart, they want to end that cycle. You'll decide what what's ending for you. Um, for others, they're in. There's somebody here that's ending a cycle with someone else, not with you, but with someone else. They're cutting someone else out. It's not completely over, but you have met this person. And they want to begin something with you. Let's see the outcome at the end of the week. Eight of Swords reversed. Freeing yourself from the things that are concerning you, worrying you, keeping you bound up in your own head. And I can see that for sure on both sides. Bottom of the deck is the Temperance card. Now, this is your card, Sagittarius in the Major Arcana. Um, so, this tells me that you've got a handle on this. Um, you're, you're, you're balanced. You've got a handle on what's taking place here. And even though you may appear to not see what's going on, you got your eye on it. So let's uh, let's clarify. Why is the Page of Cups in reverse?
All right, we have the Ace of Cups reversed and we have the Nine of Coins reversed. Yeah, you're withholding because still feeling the loss, still feeling a loss of um, from from a a love, a, a very strong love that ended. So that's why you're holding back. You're holding holding back your emotions. You're holding back from giving your emotions because um, you're still feeling that loss. Why is the hermit here? It was a very strong. Um, a very strong love connection that ended. Some of you not quite ready to begin something new. And so that's why you're holding back. Again, we have the four of coins reversed. And we have the nine of cups reversed. Oh. So you... You don't, you don't want to release. You don't want to let go. Yeah. You're letting go of something that you've been holding on to for a long time, Sagittarius. But it's not, it's not what you wanted. That's not what you wanted to do. I, I feel like it's kind of being pushed on you. It's forced on you. And that's why you've pulled back. That's why you, you've uh, kind of receded and you, you're not... Um, out and about as much yeah keep into yourself trying to figure things out because it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to it was a disappointment this is a disappointment to have to release and let this go What's the world here? six of cups reversed the fool Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, you're let you're letting go of a cycle here that there's been there's been uh, treachery, there's been lying, cheating, stealing, um, something something underhanded. This is from the past. You're letting that go, and now you're starting out. You're you're coming out here with the fool. You you're starting something new, Sagittarius. So it's not the way you wanted it to work out. You didn't you don't want to have to let this go, but you are gonna. And I'm telling you, when you do, it's gonna be a breath of fresh air because you're letting go of something that is energy that's um it's seven of swords energy. It's it's energy that's uh underhanded. Whatever your this past energy, this this from the past, it's underhanded, and you're releasing it so you can start something new. So it's just it's not the way you wanted it to be. That's all. Let's see. Um, why is the moon in reverse? Eight of coins, five of coins. They're feeling this loss too. So they've realized that things things weren't working out. They've realized that uh, that this has been a big loss for them. They're realizing that uh, they've realized that you're not working on this. I think. Um, let's look at the next energy. It looks to me like they they're realizing that they're left out in the cold. That that you're not going to be working on this. Now, for some, for those that are releasing someone else, they're leaving someone out in the cold because it's not working. So you'll know which is uh, your situation. But I do. This person that you're involved with has two situations. Um, there's two different situations. I mean, all right. So, so let me address that. So for those that um, tried to cut you out. This person tried to cut you out and found that they couldn't. They, they're, they still have secrets. They still have secrets. This person is, is worried. They're worried because they now know that you're not playing. They know that you're not playing with this. They know that you're, you're going to have to have an equal give and take. They're, they also know that if they are dealing with more than one person 
and keeping that a secret that that's a no bueno no go you're not you're not having it you will put an end to that see this person's still holding on to you and they're they're very worried because they see that you're not putting the work into this anymore that you're just leaving them out in the cold huh Yeah. Now, for the other uh, timeline, this person um, who is leaving someone else out in the cold, this is would have been because they have met you. So the two of you kind of have something in common, um, but they're worried. This person is still worried. They want an equal give and take in this connection. They're concerned because the person that they are cutting out, it's not completely done. And I think that um, they don't want to come across as keeping secrets. At the same time, they don't want to they don't want to tell you how they're feeling that they're so worried. They don't want to tell you how they're feeling about this or that they're cutting someone else out. I think they may feel worried about how you will take that information. Um, let's look at the bottom energy. Knight of Swords reversed, Two of Wands reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, so in the first case scenario, this person that uh, tried to cut you out, they know that you're not choosing them. They know that you're releasing them. Um... They want a new beginning, but they're not going to fight for it. They aren't going to fight for it. And I'm going to tell you, they are still keeping secrets. There's something that they're not being truthful about. I see the moon and I see the knight of swords. There's something they're not being truthful about. Um, so be careful with that. It could have to do with a pregnancy or it could have to do with a, um, a sexual encounter. There's something they're not being truthful about. So their patterns have not changed, Sagittarius. Um, they just don't want to fight with you. They're going to try to end that fight because they want to have, you know, sexual relations. They want to, they want to, they want to have a new beginning with you. They may not even be honest about, you know, having the new beginning. They could be just coming in. Um, it looks like most of them do want to have a new beginning, but I, I, I can tell you, they know that they're not being chosen, that you're releasing them. They feel that they feel that energy. Now for the other timeline, the person who's releasing someone else, um, I do think that they may have a fear that you won't choose them. And that has to do, um, so that's why they're being very closed off about telling you um, about, you know, the other situation. They they really do want to have a new, be or, or have a, a beginning with you. And they don't want conflict. So they're trying not to have conflict with you. And they're afraid that telling you everything is going to bring conflict. So... All right, I, they probably don't know that you have gone through something similar. So let's look at why we have the four of pentacles between the two of you. Temperance. The nine of wands reversed. And the Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, so between the two of you, it's releasing. Releasing something that's been held on to for a long time. Um, either a past person, Sagittarius, or there's a release of... And remember, you, you have this card as your underlying energy. So you're fully in charge of this, okay? Um, 
if uh, for the other person, they're either releasing someone from the past or they're releasing, um, uh, if it's somebody that is from your past, they know that you're releasing them. Now, they're not going to fight for the connection if that's the case, if it's someone from your past. Um, they want to overcome the problems with you for sure, but they're not going to fight for this either. They're going to feel that you are in, in power in this decision. I mean, you're definitely empowered here. And I like seeing that energy for you. Um, let me see why the Three of Cups is here. I, can, I feel like that the person from the past is going to try to do bring in a reunion. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reversed. You're not having it. And the chariot. Yeah, they're going to try to bring in a, a reunion, but you're not going to have it. Um, for the, if it's the new person, um, you may feel a little bit stuck. They're going to want to move quickly and you're not. This is somebody that you've just met. So you're going to be a little bit stuck because the past connection didn't work out the way you wanted it to. And you're still kind of pulled back. So you're going to grind that to a halt a little bit. And that's what's causing them to feel this concern and worry as well. That that maybe um, it's because of them releasing someone else. All right. Um, let's see why the Eight of Swords is in reverse. For some of you, this could actually be, um, you could be experiencing both um situations at the same time you may have someone that has returned from the past and you may have met somebody new as well because you are ending a cycle to begin a new cycle okay we have the six of swords we have the ten of swords and we have the eight of cups yeah, freeing, freeing yourself. Freeing yourself from what what uh, you previously bound yourself to. It was uh, something that you could have freed yourself from the entire time. So it's you're going to free yourself. You're going to bring about a painful ending. It, it is a, a, an ending to something that was a betrayal. Um, and it's going to be a bit painful. But you're going to be moving forward. Moving forward into something calmer and more peaceful. The person that you're dealing with, like I said, if it's the past person, they're going to walk away. They won't fight for this. They're going to process it as being painful, but they're not going to fight for it. The new person is walking away from a painful ending, but that's who you have in this boat with you. Okay, so the two of you will move forward together. So... Yeah, this looks good, actually, Sagittarius. Some of you um, may experience both of these situations at the same time. Others of you are, you know, experiencing one or the other. All right, bottom of the deck is the Hermit. That's in your energy, which tells me that, you know, you're, you're really doing a lot of thought. This is not, these decisions are not just haphazard. You're really putting in the time to heal your energy, to think about what you're doing, to find the right answers. You're growing spiritually, okay? It's beautiful energy. I will say some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, let's pull a few Oracle cards and see if there's any further clarification. See what we have Sagittarius all right so for you we have connect with Gaia which is exactly what I think you're doing um, you're grounding yourself here with this um, hermit energy so um, spirit is indicating for you to ground yourself make your decisions from a grounded perspective for the cross watcher or person that you are dealing with it says meditation for clarity so meditation might help bring you some clarity in this situation as well as others. Um, 
especially with regard to emotions. And then for the, oh, I love this, for the connection itself, it says transformation and change. Exactly what we were talking about. So there's change and transformation on the horizon. Beautiful. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Sagittarius. If you would, like and share this video. Um, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you would. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free. I read all of them. Until I see you next week, namaste.